Thank you. Uh, hello, everybody. I'm Paola. And it's a pleasure to be here with you and to have this opportunity to share this moment together and obviously to, to learn. Um, today, I'm going to talk about active learning strategies. And I want to start with a phrase that I love. <laughs> and it says, learning is more effective when it is an active rather than a passive process. And I like it because we as teachers are part of a new generation and everything is changing. So our students need new context, new ideas. Uh, we need to innovate in our classes. Uh, that's why I decided to talk about active learning strategies. So to start with this presentation, I want to share with you what is an what is an active learning strategy well it is any kind of activity it can be online face to face um, outside of the class that engage learners in a deep reflection about the subject matter in the course but this is given in an innovative way so rather to have to have just passive students receiving course content we can have an active learning process in order to achieve that students become active participants in the learning process. And, um, so this can mean that students are clustered in small groups to discuss a course topic, reflecting individually at the end of each class about the learning they have and about the questions they still have, working by an application problem with a partner before presenting to the whole class and obviously participating in class, group, or team discussion boards. It depends on the strategy you are using with your students, but most of the active learning strategies provide students the opportunity to share their ideas and to develop a collaborative work in order to give you a solution. Well, what is the impact of active learning strategies? It's really interesting, interesting because um, we can achieve that students increase students' emotion. And I consider that if we don't have emotion and innovation in our classes, students won't have a safe personal learning because the class is always the same. For example, um, I work with teenager students right now. I'm here with them and they are listening to me. And uh, with this pandemic, uh, my students' emotion were affected. And if we don't do something to avoid that, that problem, we will have more problems about students' emotions. So active learning strategies are a help to avoid that problem. Then we have interest, interest about the topic or the activity they are doing. In my case, I don't like to work as always. I like to innovate and my students uh, know that I never do the same thing. And then we have self-efficacy because we as teachers rely on our students and we rely in what they are able to do. So that is important. And as a result, we can have a significant uh, learning process for the students. Well, there are some benefits for using active learning strategies. And the first one is develop collaborative skills. We know that collaboration is a pillar of, of most active learning approaches by working together in breakout groups, students develop the ability, they will need to collaborate in the workforce, but we need to teach them how to do it. Encourage risk-taking. We are conscious that students may initially resist to the move to an active learning process because it's easier to sit in a class and take notes until the talking is done. So active learning pulls students uh, out of the comfort zone by creating an environment where the risk taking is encouraged. As they get more comfortable sharing their ideas, defending their conscious and building in, odd, in each other's ideas, uh, they will gain confidence and self-possession. Then we have requires students preparation during the students' class, they were likely courses that didn't require much day-to-day -day effort beyond simply showing up to class. So students could be tired or disengaged 
And we as teachers likely didn't notice. And now with many online classes, <laughs> it's even easier to turn out. But on active learning classroom, no one is invisible. It's immediately evident when students haven't taken the time to prepare. So, so there is a greater motivation. Students increase engagement. So students who are actively learning are actively engaged. Whether solving a problem, debating an issues, or researching a new kind deeper understanding. And we as teachers won't probably lose students' attention if we are looking for new ideas to get the students thinking on and implementing a new and innovative active learning activities. And then we have improved critical thinking and Active learning uh, changes the focus of learning from passively assimilating information to being accountable for active, actively engaging with learning. When students, students share ideas, they learn to build stronger arguments and obviously. Then we have increased retention. And according to some experts, students uh, remember about 10% of what they read. 20% of what they hear and 90% of what they do. So active learning classroom are well more active and students are often applying their ideas, working on collaborative projects uh, or using approaches like design thinking or the quick process to improve their learning. Then we have spark creative thinking and active learners helps students to understand that activity goes beyond common common learning, it develops with effort and hard work with lots of practice. Students also see how both individual reflection and collaborative work can lead to better ideas and new solutions to problems. And finally, we have foster real problem solving. The ability to solve complex problems has been called as the most important skill needed for the future jobs. So students in active learning classroom understand that no one has all the answer. It's up to them to find them. And there are here some examples of active learning strategies uh, that you can use in your class. The first one is class discussion and a class discussion may be held face to face or it can be online, uh, but it is more effective in smaller groups. The, envir the environment allows for teachers' guidance of the learning experience. Discussion requires that the learners think critically on the subject matter and use logical to evaluate personal and others' positions. As, lear uh, as learners are expected to discuss material in a constructive and intelligent way. A discussion is good, it's good uh, follow up activities given that they has been covered already. Then we have think per share. It is when learners take a minute to ponder the previous lesson, later to discuss it with no, another classmate. And finally, to share it with the whole class uh, in a formal discussion. It is during this formal discussion that the student, that the teacher is um, clarifying misconception. Uh, however, students need a background about the topic and also, it is more comfortable for them if we uh, rely on what they are doing. Then we have learning cell. A learning cell is an effective way for a pair of students to study and learn together. A learning cell process of learning where two students alternate asking and answering questions on commonly read materials. To prepare for the task, the students will read um, about uh, a topic and at the next class, the teacher will randomly put students in pairs so they have to start talking about the topic and this process can be uh, better. And then we have class game and I think our students love the games in our classes. Uh, it's also considered an energetic, energetic way to learn because it, it not only helps the students to review the course material, for example, before an exam, but it helps them to enjoy learning about the topic. Uh, different games such as uh, 
word puzzles, uh, crossword puzzles, always um, seem to get the students' mind going. And then we have problem solving, and it have uh, it has to have an emphasis on practical solution, as you mentioned uh, in the morning, and it it is the key for develop design thinking, the collaborative work with students, creativity, exploration, experimentation. Um, here we have some characteristics of active learning strategies. And the first one is students are involved in more than passive listening. Students are engaged in activities like reading, um, discussing, writing. A student's motivation is increased and students can receive quick feedback from the teacher. Well, as everything, there are some risks of using active learning activities. And the first one is um, participate uh, in, a, in an active way. Here, there are different factors that can be involved. For example, family, personal, or even just the attitude that students have that day. Then we have learned sufficient uh, course content. We are conscious that in some cases, the institutional part asks us to cover all the content. But when using active learning strategies, uh, we don't focus so much on learning content, but on learning for life. Then we have enjoyed the experience. Not all the students like to participate in activities that go beyond their comfort zone or in activities that they already used to. So therefore, patient and constant effort should be in our main objective, and then it will be easier. And nevertheless, there are risks that, that uh, US teachers will not. Uh, feeling, feeling control of the class, it is going to depend on the active learning strategy we are using, the objective, and also the student's motivation, and also teacher's motivation. That is important too. Then we help feel self-confident. I think it is super common because we have experience, experience that sometimes we plan the best active learning strategy and it doesn't work. So in my case, it's really difficult to assimilate, but I think it's a good uh, challenge to keep getting to know our students and to try new strategies according to the students' interests. And then we have possess the needed skills. And I consider that all of us have enough skills to practice these activities. Um, we just need to look for the best according to the characteristics of the class and according to the objective. Even we can adapt it and to create new ones that fulfills our objective. And here, and um, finally, we have some resources for implementing online active, active learning strategies. We're, here we have it. And each of these pages uh, lead you to different resources that you can apply in your classes. Uh, it, it also gives you innovative material for different levels that you can check it and apply it. And finally, I want to conclude with the same phrase that I love that learning is more effective when it is an active rather than a passive process. So thank you. Sorry for the interruption. I'm giving classes and everybody is coming to my classroom. <laughs>